Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make a split screen music video by using a metronome and two types of different editing software. So let's get to it. Step 1, recording yourself. First and foremost, you will want to record the instrument that will be used as the reference tempo for the rest of your recording. Typically, these are instruments such as percussion instruments or a bass guitar. If you do not have any of these instruments in your song, it is best to record the instrument that provides the best rhythmic subdivisions to follow such as a guitar playing steady 8th notes throughout. In my personal experience, it is much easier to follow your own interpretation of the tempo from a rhythmic instrument instead of listening to a metronome for every single one of your recordings. Uh, this will make lining up the videos and the editing software so much easier. So, of course, once you finish recording your tempo reference instrument, go ahead and record the rest of your instruments while listening to that. And I promise you, it will be so much easier when you're editing. Step 2. Putting it all together. Once you finish recording all of your instruments, it's time to put the videos together. Depending on which platform you're using, you have several options on what you want to use to stitch the videos together. And it's actually not as hard as it seems. Today, I'll be teaching you how to edit these clips together using Adobe Premiere Pro and iMovie, so feel free to skip to whatever section you need. Alright, so here in Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to go ahead and place your clips onto the timeline and go ahead and separate them so that the audio and video tracks are on different layers. Once you do that, you can hold Alt and scroll, and that will expand the clips as such. And you can actually double click on this gray area here and expand the audio tracks so you can see where they line up. Depending on your clips, you may need to move it around to make sure they line up properly. You can always just play it and make sure it sounds good. Once you make sure that your clips musically line up together, you can go ahead and disable those layers and focus on one layer at a time. Here you can see I'm going to effect controls to change the scale, and as I go to the program window, I can move it around as such. I play around with the positions manually to make sure that they line up perfectly on the screen where I want them to. Once you finish your first layer, you can go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other layers. Depending on your situation, you may or may not have to move your other clips out of the way in your timeline in order to click on the video in the program window. Once you have all the clips in place, you can then hit play, and as long as you lined up the audio tracks correctly, you should be able to hear yourself play in time. And of course, you can always go to the audio track mixer over here and play around with the volume settings of each video. Now to piece this together in iMovie, first go ahead and drag the clip onto your timeline and give it a background if you'd like. Then, click on the layer icon and make sure you select picture in picture so you can resize and move the clip around on the screen to its desired position. Once it's in position, go ahead and export it by clicking the export button on the top right of the screen. Once you export it, grab the exported clip back into the editor and then add the next clip using a similar process as before by hitting the layer icon and selecting picture in picture then resizing it to its desired position. As for the remaining clips, you can go and rinse and repeat by exporting this and re-adding it to the timeline, this time adding the next clip, and so on. Last thing I want to mention is that whenever you add a clip, make sure that its audio lines up with the previous clip so that it sounds together when you play it back. And there you go, you got your video. It was that simple. You just use the metronome, you record yourself, and then put it all together in these editing softwares. It wasn't as hard as it seems, and it's not as painful as it looks. Of course, you could always go back and add more stuff like uh, subtitles for lyrics, or you can tinker with the sound a little bit to bring out an instrument more, uh, but that's really up to you. But this is just a basic tutorial on how to get these music videos out in the least painful ways possible. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.